Okay, today we're going to go into how we can create a special report, a custom report, and try to find out who in our database meets certain criteria. Let's say, for example, we have a book that we found in down in the first floor in New York State, and it says Early Settlers of New York State. And so we went, we want to find out who the people are that are in New York. And so to create the custom report, we would go to the icon that shows the printer, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to print out our uh, report. And we click on that icon. And then we would go and here we would select the custom. And again, that's the same on either Ancestral Quest or Path. And then you would have to then select who are the people you're trying to get uh, in this report. And this is the advanced filter focus screen. And so you want to find individuals. And those individuals are going to define what individuals criteria they have. So let's first go with any place. We want to find somebody that is in the state of New York. Now the one thing is, you see here it says full place, the city, the town, the, the county, the state, or the country. Uh, that is if you use the standard three comma rule. So if it's by itself, the very first thing it assumes it's the city. If it's the second thing in, it assumes the county. If it's the third, uh, after the second comma, the third thing in, it assumes it's the state. If you happen to go with the standard locations that are out of New Family Search, then it does not meet these criteria. So what you have to do is you have to go look at full place, and then you say it contains. And so somewhere in that place it will contain the name New York. And so if it contains New York, be it the city or be it the, the uh, the state, that's what we're looking for. So we say OK, and we'll just say go for it. Let's see what we can find. And it's checking through all the records to find out which ones meet the criteria. OK, now we've gotten through the criteria, and we want to see who meets that criteria. Then we would show results only, and we have 3,092. That's a lot of people that meet that criteria, and it's not something you can do in a day or two or three or uh, who knows, a year or two. But if you check something out from the BYU library, you have three weeks, so you need to limit that a little bit. So let's think of ways we can redefine what we're trying to do. Well, one thing we can do is that most of the items in this book are from obituaries out of newspapers or tombstones that they have been able to get. Uh, so a lot of the things in here has to do with that. So let's change our any place. Let's change that back to something that's like a death date, a death place, excuse me. And we're going to create that same criteria. We're going to look at all of the information on the place and we're going to say it contains again New York. Now that does limit it a, little, a lot because not every record even has a death on it. All it has is just a birth. But we're going to go with that and see what that comes up with. See if it has more of a number that we could more reasonably check. Okay, it's come up now and it says there's 931. That's still a little bit so let's do some more defining. Okay, let's say and we want to check um, that place contains New York, but let's say we want uh, a death date. And that death date we want to say has a range. And that range would say, well, let's look at everybody from 1800 to Okay, let's go 1850. Uh, five, uh, 50 years, that should be uh, limited a little bit. So it's going through again and checking for those that criteria. 
and now we have 180. That's a little more reasonable. Okay, and we'll just go with that for right now, and we'll say okay. Okay, now we need to go about determining what fields we want to print out. So we click on the fields for our custom report and say, well, we want this name and the given name in that order. Uh, also, it'd be nice to know the sex of the person. And also, let's go down and pick out maybe like a birth date or something, or a death date. Since we're looking at death dates, let's put, let's put that in there. And let's also put in the death place, if they have that information. And then we'll say OK. And we want the sort order to be the given name, or the, excuse me, the surname. Oh, I didn't select that. I didn't put it over there. I said it, but didn't do it. Now I got it in there. Okay, now we have a fields in the sorter, and we can do a preview before we print it. And then there's our list with the names of the people and the play, their birth, their death place, and other things. Now, let's see how many pages this took up. That's two, three, four, five, four. Only four pages. So it's not too bad. But there's one thing I just noticed on here, in that my wife has already checked out all of the people that's been in Greene County and in Chenango. Here is Green Chenango. She has been in there and done all that work already, and in both Green and Chenango. So I can eliminate some more yet. So I'll do that. I'll close this and we'll put some more uh, criteria in there. So I go back to my select again. I had 180 people selected, but I'm going to add some more criteria. And I'm going to say and. I'm going to go down to the death place. There we go, death place. And looking again at the full place. I'm going to say does not contain Green County. Okay. And the other place that she did a lot of looking online with was a county called Shenango, real close next to each other. So I'll put that one in as well and say does not contain Shenango. And I believe that's the way it's spelled. And we'll go through and check out that again. Okay, so now we come up with instead of 100, instead of 180, we have 138. So we can go ahead and since I have done that, I've refined it, but my fields and my sort order are still the same. So I do a preview, and there we can say, oops, look at there. So I misspelled Green County. Forgot the e on the end. But that's okay. We got all this information. And instead of doing four pages, we now have three pages. So it's a little bit easier. And so that's one way that you can go through, get a custom report, print it out, and then you can use that piece of paper that has exactly what you're looking for and use the index in the book and go through the book to find out if there's more information that you can use uh, there. So that's one way you can use the advanced filter focus to help you get to the information that you're looking for to help you do some searches.